is a, that's one of the spirit keepers. Another one is the sun that hangs in the sky. And so that represents the yellow. Well, what happened is that we were told that the sun is one of the keepers of the language. So this Mekanak describes the sun. Uh, Minua Bejika au Ogana Wendiman, Ogana Wendan, Anishina Beji Twawan, Anishina Bemwan, Gizus, Miwe Bejik, Minua Gizus, Miwe Gigachimishomisanan. When my ma heard that, she got really excited. Well, here's what happens. So the the Mikanak, the snapping turtle, came forward and says, There's another spirit keeper of the language. Another one is the uh, sun. This is the one that is our great grandfather. And that w when I first heard it, I was, oh, what's so exciting about that? Well, the term that they use, Gigichimishomisanan, is our great grandfather. That reinforces the idea that we are all a family and that the son, our, so there's two ways to say our, our great-grandfather, me and you and everybody, or me, my people, not you. So our was inclusive. This was, the son is our great-grandfather, and he included himself in there. So that, that reinforces that connection that we are related to the animals, but together we're also related to the son. Get to Magazin, me, uh, me, go in the Magawan, me, with you, uh, Nishina big, or give a buy a wagama, get the Kimanan, it does, uh, give squad, squad, man, get the Gushinamin. So, all the terms that we are seen as is the grandchildren. Everything else was here before us already. We are the grandchildren, which came later. So, all the animals, the rocks, the creation, the word for rock, a sin, is uh, another word I heard in a sweat lodge. An elder said, Give me show me Sanan, our grandfather. Really? The rocks are our grandfathers. You mean I came from a rock? Of course, liter trying to think it literally. But in a spiritual family, they are, that's, instead of just saying a sin, the elders refer to them as Give me show me Sanan, our grandfather. So again, it reinforces that uh, family relationship that you have with, uh, with all of creation. So, that, so it's really important terminology. That's why it is so important that you can take much more than what is just in, in a dictionary. Put it all together and it creates life. It gives you meaning into relationships that you cannot describe in English. So this relationship that you have with all the creation is just reinforced in the language. Well, it's a sacred relationship. And so when, we're, when we talk anything about sacred, tobacco is what is used all the time, a seima. And so when we, we, we do all that back and forth, it's all, it all describes and reinforces that relationship. <coughs> So, terminology, if you were to look in a dictionary, our grandfather, you know, is so much more than, than that. <coughs> when you pluralize a sin, a sinig, you, you, the letter G reoccurs again. And so you know, if, you, if you're sitting beside a, an elder and you're not sure whether a certain object is animate or not, I tell my students, uh, here's a good trick. Ask them to pluralize it. How do you say two rocks? So a sin becomes a sinig. And you listen, a sinig, oh, that ends in a G. That must be an animate object. So bimadazi is, it is a, he is alive. Bimadazi. <coughs>